Hey dolls, so today I'm going to do a Tarte haul and I love Tarte. They are one of my favorite cosmetics companies because they have not only amazing makeup but I love their um, just whole philosophy because they don't test on animals and their products are very natural. I especially love their Amazonian clay products. Um, you must try them because I love their blush and I just want to try all of their Amazonian clay products because I think they're definitely worth buying and they're pretty inexpensive already in the whole range of um, high-end makeup especially for the quality you get from them but they actually were having like a huge sale on their website and it's still going on I checked last night so hopefully everything will still be in stock um, now as well and so basically they had a ton of products for like ten dollars a piece which is so awesome because uh, usually that stuff ranges for like twenty dollars or more so everything I got was ten or under I'm not sure like on exact exact pricing but I will put it below but um, yeah I'm really excited to show you guys this stuff because Tarte is just spendy usually but worth it but when they're having a sale it makes it especially awesome and also they're having a coupon going on I think if you buy full priced items, um, you can use the coupon. You can't use it with sale items, unfortunately, but it's like an extra some odd percent off your um, entire purchase. So I'll put that down below too. Um, but I didn't use it this time because I didn't get anything full priced. I got everything on sale. So um, yeah, starting out, I'd actually like to mention that I am wearing one of their products right now. And um, this is so awesome. It's called um, their Rise and Shine. And it looks like this. And um, as you can see, it is like a wand with like two sides. And um, is that focusing? I guess not. I don't know. I can't tell. But anyways, um, what I love about this is that this side here is a stain. Here. Stain. It's like a little um, applicator with a rich um, stain on it. And then the other side... So it's like a two-sided um, wand. And the other side has this amazing, amazing um, lip gloss. And um, I think it's so beautiful. And the product is awesome. When I put it on, I could immediately just feel my lips being like plumped. Because <laughs> it, you know, kind of stings. And so I love this because it's so pigmented. But if you're a little bit... This is in the color Cherry. And this is the one I'm wearing. But... Um, this, if you are like a little bit like timid and unsure about red lips um, because you're younger or maybe you're older but you know you you just don't think red maybe suits you, um, this is a really great product because it's not like red in your face, you know, lips, but it's it's just a really, really nice pigmented pop of cherry without being like ridiculous and um, so it'd be a really nice way to like ease into red lips. Um, because I do love wearing red lips and um, sometimes I like to wear really bright red lips but this is nice because if I want to do my eyes a little bit darker but still have like the red lip going on this is like perfect for that and I also got um, two other colors and it is okay so I got the color mauve and this is what the little like lid looks like here Okay, sorry. So, this is mauve, and it's got the color on top, which is kind of handy. I don't know why that is not focusing. But, um, and their products will say cruelty free with this adorable little bunny, and they have, it has like little heart ears, um, which I think is so cute because, uh, I don't like supporting companies that test on animals. That is not focusing. Darn it. It's so cute. Here. Let's see if it'll focus. Whoops. There we go. Is that not adorable? I think that's so cute. So, um, the mauve, um, looks absolutely gorgeous. They sold out of one color online. I think it was like berry or something. And I was like, oh, I really want a berry. But this one I actually like a little more. And, um, so, here, let me swatch this for you. So you get... You know, this is like a spongy applicator and um, like look how pigmented that is that's that's what's going to be staining your lips and so that's like a gorgeous like blackberry color I think um, 
and then um, the gloss is like a more pinky, mauvey color. Um, it looks like that. So, as you can imagine, the pink would kind of soften the stain, but it would make a gorgeous, rich combination. And this would be especially beautiful in the fall, um, but beautiful all year round, of course. And I think this would look really pretty with, like, maybe if you did, like, a um, brown and gold eye with this on the lips. And once again, I mean, it's, like, it's dramatic, but it's not, like, overly dramatic. So you really could wear these products with any kind of makeup and have it not look like too much. <laughs> and so the last color I got was actually one that my mom got a while ago, full priced, and um, she loves it so much. She uses it, this all the time. She carries it in her purse with her. And um, So this is in the color Nectar, and um, it's and these are called Rise and Shine, just again in case you know, you're wondering. And this one just is like this gorgeous, bright tangerine, and I think the name Nectar suits it really well. They name their products well. They're very fitting for the product that you're getting. So, see, that's like a like awesome pop of um, tangerine, kind of nectary color. And then the other side is the gloss. And these are like brush applicators. So the stain comes with like a spongy applicator and the brush, or I mean the gloss comes with like a brush applicator. So that's what those look like. And um, as you can see, they have like a nice orangey coral tint, which is nice if you're you know, maybe you don't want to go with a full-on, like, orange lip, um, because you might think it's a little bit dramatic, um, but it's just nice and subtle, but it still would be a gorgeous pop of color, and my mom loves it, and it looks great on her, and it's really easy to apply, um, especially if you have, like, a mirror around, and they're just little applicators, and it's not, like, messy or anything, so, um, yeah, I love those lip products, and those were $10 each, which I think is a really great bargain because they're twice as much normally, so um, it's a good deal. And the next thing that I got was a double duty eyelining brush. And I love my um, Tarte eyelining brush, which looks like this. It's a little dirty right now, but um, this came with actually their Amazonian clay eyeliner. And so you get like the, you know, whoops, sorry. You get like the fine point and then you get kind of like a dome flat brush for just sort of smudging the eyeliner. I also find this is really good for like putting eyeshadow on like underneath um, because it's very like precise. And so um, this brush I was really, really excited about because I do like the brush that you get for free with their eyeliner. So I thought this definitely looked like it was worth trying and this one's different so I'm glad I have both because this one has um here's like the smaller side it's just like uh sort of like a dome shape and it's flat and this would be really good for doing eyelining and just I mean it's just like a good shape of brush to have because it's kind of unusual and then the other side is just a flat um little like it's just flat and thin and um, this would be really really awesome for a lot of things. I have a MAC brush like this and I use it all the time for like maybe smudging something or popping color underneath or just doing a lot of different things. This is a really versatile brush and I'm not sure on the price but I know it was on a good sale and I'll put the price down below. But um, yeah that's so awesome. And the next thing is an eyeliner and I love Lancome's eyeliner. I've never tried um, Tarte's eyeliner before um, but from what I read it's good and so here let me swatch it. It's brown and I like the brown one from Lancome but um, that's expensive and I was running out so I thought I would just try this. So there's the swatch right there and as you can see, I mean, that is pigmented. And the brush is a really nice, um, it's like a, 
it's like a strong brush or whatever. I mean, it's like, it's firm, I guess, so it's not going to, like, be flimsy and, like, get eyeliner everywhere. And then... Oh. So this side you would use to smudge, which is awesome. It's like a little smudger. <laughs> and so... This was really cool and it was on sale, so it's better than buying another Lancome one. Um, so the next thing is a brush that I was really, really excited to try. It's like a, um, this I think they call it like a fluffy crease brush or something, but this would be great for so many things. Um, when I saw it and I saw the price and I was just like, that would be just really nice to have around because I don't have like a ton of brushes and um, it's hard to clean them like every day and so it is nice to have like extra brushes. Um, so, you know, you don't have to, like, clean them every single day so that you can use a brush the next day that's clean. So, um, this brush just looks like it would be really, really great for, um, like, putting color on the inner corner or, um, getting color right in the crease because it's just a nice, like, this is a really nice, like, fluffy shape and it's small enough that you could really just softly put a color in the crease and it would look awesome, so... I'm really happy about this brush. And the last thing is this eraser concealer. And um, so this is in porcelain or double zero. And I actually had purchased this product full price um, a long time ago because uh, I always see Lisa Eldridge, she's like my favorite person that does makeup on YouTube because she's like a real makeup artist and I think she's so awesome and very like inspirational and she always makes me want to be a makeup artist so yeah um, I would see her using like the Clinique airbrush concealer or something similar like and they're like those little you know like brushy concealers that you can they're like a wand you know and um because I usually use the Bobbi Brown like corrector and creamy concealer in the little like pots um but this one looked very intriguing because it looked kind of like what Lisa Eldridge used. And so I saw it on their website and I was like, I bet that's good. So um, I got it and I tried it. And I really love the product in this. I think the product is so awesome. I'm actually wearing it today to conceal just everything. And um, it stays really well and it works really well. And um, it looks very natural and it actually matches my skin really well. This is the lightest color and usually like max lightest color of concealer is just incredibly way too dark for me and so um, I was really happy that this matched my skin tone my only only complaint is that here I'll use my um, old one to show you the one that Lisa Eldridge uses usually has like a little like a little brush on the end and this one has like this little like it's like a little like rubber applicator I don't know if you can see that but it's like it's not it's not like a brush it's like it's like rubber and that is terribly uncomfortable to try and get on your eyes so you, you just kind of pat it on and then take your finger and blend it and that's not what really bugs me what really really bugs me and I read reviews and a lot of other people say this too is that when you twist it and it starts coming out and this doesn't have anything in it but um, cause I, I'll tell you what I do with it next but if you twist it it'll come out and it'll just keep coming out which is so messy and stressful and it's wasteful and you're just like ah, I won't stop coming out it'll just keep like coming and coming and coming and um so what I do is I take these little Mac um they're like a little they're little stackable containers that you can buy there and um, my mom just had some laying around and I was like well what if I just like put them in this little like plastic container because um you can buy concealers like this and um, it wouldn't hurt it to put it in here. So that's what I do. Um, I just put it, like, right in there. You just dip your brush in there and it stays. It doesn't dry out or anything. Um, so I just dip my concealer brush in there and use it like that. So I did buy another one of the airbrush concealers because it was on sale. And so, um, I think the product is definitely worth it and I would keep buying this, but just a warning, if you do buy it, um, you might want to pick up, they don't have to be MAC, but you just might want to pick up some, like, little plastic containers to, like, put the product in there because, um, I think it's, like, wasteful and messy not to put the product in something else because I just really, really don't like the applicator. So, 
yeah, um, that's everything I got, and um, I just think Tarte is an amazing company, and I love all of their products, and especially since they had this stuff on sale, I was really, really, really stoked about that, and I wanted to tell you guys, as soon as possible, as soon as I got the package and tried the products and everything, I wanted to do, like, a haul slash review of how I like everything so far, and some of them either I've tried or my mom has tried so far, so I didn't have, like, a ton of testing to do or anything, but... Um, I just wanted to get this up ASAP because I hate it when like someone tells you about a sale and then it's like, oh, they don't have it anymore. <laughs> and so I didn't want to do that to you guys. So, um, yeah. So, and they also do free shipping. We spend $40, I think. I'm not sure, but I'll put all the information in the down bar and um, you can always leave requests for me to use these products and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.